Honorable members, it's hard to decide, so we'll proceed with this first. Honorable members, I now put the question that taking into account the consideration and the recommendations of the Joint Committee of the National Assembly, Departmental Committee of Administration and Internal Security, that the Joint Committee of the National Assembly, led by the Honorable Member of Tongoya as the Chair, be called to reply. Honorable members, I now put the question that taking into consideration, I now put the question, honorable members, just allow me to proceed with this. We have to say it properly, which means I have to say the title of the joint committee, which is chaired by honorable Tongoya, to be called to reply. I want to put that question. Yeah, so if you just let me do my job. Honorable members, because there is a dispute as to whether we should put the whether the mover should reply or not. Isn't that the question before the house? So I want to ask Yes, I want to ask whether the house is in agreement. You will have an opportunity to decide as the House whether the mover should be called to reply or not. Okay, Honorable Member, when you finish uh, making your altercation. What's your point of order, Honorable Otiende? Madam Speaker. I want your guidance. I will wait until you're done consulting. Madam Speaker, I wish to get your guidance on a fundamental matter. And that is the fact that this being a house of debate, usually the majority will have the minority will have their say and the majority will have their way. Madam Speaker, I want to bring to your attention that it may not be easy for you to determine who is the majority and who is the minority. But it is clear that in the course of this very short debate, it is the majority who have had the greatest contribution in the following manner. The Honorable Yusuf came to the minority side and is clearly of the majority side. The Honorable Korere came to the minority side. He's clearly of the majority side with the result that being minority... We are not even, I'm on a point of order, Mr. Honorable, Majority Leader, I'm on a point of order. You can't be on a point of order Honorable, also. Honorable so Otiende. all I wanted, your guidance is this. The guidance I want is this. I will give you the guidance. Yes. Where it is clear that the minority is denied both their say and clearly their way, is that in line with the parliamentary standing orders? Oh, uh, Honorable Otiende, the mere fact that somebody is from the minority side doesn't mean that they are required to, to always object or not support the report. The, the point is that the minority side got the opportunity equal to that of the majority side. If the members of the minority side decided to support the majority side, that is within the prerogative of those individual members. And honorable members, because there, is no, there is, seems to be disagreement as to whether the mover should reply or not, I will put the question as to whether the mover should reply or not, and then you will be, have the chance to have your eyes and nays. Honorable members, I now put the question that the mover be called to reply. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? Aye. Will as many as of the counter opinion say nay? The eyes have it.
You have insufficient numbers. You don't have sufficient numbers. Okay, the numbers are not sufficient. Move on to reply. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I want to take this opportunity to really thank members who contributed into this very important motion.